Can't believe I'm about to bash the champion that single-handedly got me to plat. But here we go. Soraka and other healing-based supports work really well against a poke champion like Lulu. Sona works pretty well because of her heals and has a bit more engage potential than Soraka. Blitzcrank in this case, if he grabs her and they kill her fast, is another good counter. Nami again with the heals makes her very viable in lane. And Janna, even though this is considered a skill matchup, still does pretty well if she times her shields well. Zara finally because her poking capabilities will prevent her from doing her job in lane. Lulu's passive is Pix. And this little critter grants her auto attacks and anyone it's assisting an extra firing of 3 bolts that deal extra magic damage. They can be blocked by enemies in their path though. Her Q deals magic damage and slows enemies, but it will deal reduced damage if the ability hits another unit beforehand. Pix will also send the same bolt and that will refresh the slow. Her W will speed up allies as well as give them attack speed and will polymorph enemies if cast directly on them. They become silenced for the duration and cannot deal any damage or cast abilities either. Her E shields allies and sends Pix to help them, and if cast on enemies, will send Pix to their location. Her ultimate is a huge baiter which enlarges an ally that knocks nearby enemies up as well as heals them. In lane, she will try to be in the front line and just use her auto attacks at level 1 because they're enough to bring enemies down to 50% health pretty quickly. As for spells, most Lulus have been taking Ignite nowadays just because they have huge killing potential early on even if their ADC plays passive. Exhaust on them is also a very viable option if they prefer to play the lane a bit safer. You will take one of each as well depending on how confident you are. As for her power spikes, Lulu's an excellent early game support with a lot of killing potential in the first few levels if she's playing aggressive enough. Her main problem seems to be having some mana issues early on, especially around levels 1 through 4, so make sure to notice it if she's running low on mana for engages. Standing near your minions will heavily reduce her Q damage as well. In terms of items, you'll see the same stuff every shield support goes for, except she might actually go for a bit more squishy if she decides to go for some AP as well. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, abuse her when she's running low on mana, don't trade auto attacks with her if you're unsure whether her shield is up, since she'll win them easily, and don't be baited once she hits level 6. Ultimately, have fun doing it.